Pershaw Civic Centre and this small but busy cafe is on the front line of a rubbish revolution. Thanks very Enjoy. much. Rather than recycling or landfill, every day a bag of rubbish from the cafe goes into this machine, where overnight it's turned into energy to heat hot water and it leaves nothing behind but a spoonful of ash. It's amazing. And it's so easy, it's so easy to use. You just put the rubbish in and put the lid down and turn it on and that's it till the next day. This is a trial of the technology. Um, we're involved because we're very keen to support a local business, but also we're very keen for the technology to move to the next stage, which is commercial reality. The machine is called Hiru, and we first reported on it back in April last year. Then it was a slightly Heath Robinson looking prototype. Here's me from last year to explain how it works. This isn't just a mini incinerator in your kitchen. It's a lot cleverer than that. First of all, all that waste and rubbish is heated up to 100 degrees to drive off the water and dry it out. That also removes a lot of the oxygen from inside the chamber. And then you heat it even higher and pyrolysis starts, which turns something like a paper cup into something like this. This is basically charcoal. And when you let oxygen back in, you can then burn all this sort of pyrolyzed waste and that generates energy to heat water. And this is what's left after an overnight cycle, nothing but a few grams of ash. This updated machine has been on trial here for the past six weeks and it's not alone. So we've got three of these trial units out now, getting all of that field data and information back from real users using the machine and just telling us how easy it is to use or not easy to use, whatever it is, that, and we need to know so we can put that into the final designs. In a year, Hiru has gone from a prototype in a lab to trial machines in the real world. And production here in the Midlands is slated to start at the end of next year. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Pershaw.